Uh, welcome back. It's episode 9. It's finally time for the follow-up video to the PlayStation 2 Debian server. tried to play some Super Tucks, we played some Doom at 1080i and we had some fun with the PlayStation 2 iToy. Something uh, interesting to note is some of the available uh, resolutions through the frame buffer so let's take a quick look at this and we'll get into the server stuff a little bit after that and we'll probably come back to the frame buffer stuff in another episode but you can achieve some really good resolutions here, uh, 1920, 1080, which is a standard 1080 interlaced, and it actually looks really good. So here's 480p, it doesn't look too bad, but it's a little bit off the screen, and here's 1080i. Now for this digital TV, it has a virtual zoom in the frame buffer command, so you can adjust this to suit your digital TV. Uh, so your first 1920, 1080, and the second 1920, 1080 is the... Um, sort of virtual zoom if you will but it's quite funny because I don't think my TV quite knows what to do after a set in the machine so I encountered a few bugs like this and if you switch it back to a TV channel for example it stays like that so I'm not really sure what's going on there it is a cheap TV naturally out of curiosity uh, I had to try out M player in the frame buffer settings with different resolutions and to be honest it, it doesn't work very well it's quite slow, you can see it here, like it's working, but it's just not very good. The RGB is reversed, so it's like BGR, uh, and it doesn't look good, but that's not what this video is about. I actually had to go back and watch the last Debian server video. <laughs> um, I'd actually forgotten what the state of the USB is that I had it installed on, and what it was running like, and it wasn't good. So I decided to install it again, but to the hard drive, and made it into a shell script so uh, it would just sort of automate this process a bit better and I sort of made a few mistakes here and there trying to work out how I did it last time but uh, so I've made it into the script and you'll see through the video here that the options keep increasing um, to get everything running so you can have a website with SQL and all those other features uh, Apache server um, even the, uh, the mail servers and all that stuff Initially I had intended to make a video about upgrading to a newer version of Debian but it kind of just happened anyway to avoid a lot of package issues and all the other sort of stuff when you use an older distribution like Lenny. While I couldn't fix these damn locale issues we still continued on with the shell script and this is designed to be a little Debian service setup shell script that accepts user inputs as uh, variables. This way we can set up things like SSH users, the local static IP address, host names, configure SQL, and set up the FTP users and all those kinds of things without having to go through various files and fuck around too much. And the last thing really to do here was to install ipconfig, which is kind of like, you know, like a cPanel kind of thing. Uh, but it did not want to compile or work or let me configure it on MIPSEL, so I think there must be something missing there. So we went to an old classic uh, webmin and we set that up and it worked just fine. It's all done. That's it. The script does pretty much everything you need for you. And um, we've got about 20 megabytes out of the 26 allocated to the system and I rebooted it to get it all going and uh, it's screaming there but let's check it out any server or uh, IT person we look at this going what about squirrel mail what's so amazing about it well I mean it's running on a PlayStation 2 so just enjoy it and even uh, PHP my admin which works fine is running on this server um, if you don't want to use commands and all that sort of stuff to make changes to it and it'll actually load up in Dillo 
Uh, it kind of works. It does log in, but it's really, really slow. Firefox also works pretty good from Black Rhino Linux, and that was one of the uh, aims of this project, was to have a web host that will work on these Linux PlayStation 2 distributions. Um, so it's, it's the core element of this whole idea to uh, keep you know, old, old machines supported somewhat. So you'll actually be able to send mail and all that stuff. Right now it's not hooked up, I've just left it as it is. But you can see here that I've got mail. So it is working and you can log into it from a modern day browser and it will let you log in. Uh, it's just not functioning yet for sending mail and all that sort of stuff. I'll, I'll get to that in another video. very happy with the way this has turned out so let's check out the actual Apache server so you can log in using guest and the password is also guest and later on we can do registrations and add more features to it it's just a splash page dashboard for now and uh, there'll be a little bit of content on there and I think it's just a funny idea of um, hosting something on a PlayStation 2 so you can actually load squirrel mail you can get to the PHP my admin I've even got my security cameras streaming on there and I'm also working on a chat server, which I'll get to uh, a little bit after this clip. That's my actual security camera that faces the street. Uh, so that's streaming constantly. And uh, we've got Squirrel Mail here, which, like I said earlier, it's not that amazing, but it's still pretty cool to access it. I did have the PHP My Admin uh, SQL dashboard connected to this but I forgot to actually put the link back in there so it's not working currently and uh, it's probably safer to keep you lot out of my server and just quietly on the side while I was doing this I started working on a point-to-point uh, -point chat server that just uses IPs in that and I generated the server itself so that we can actually uh, have a bit of a chat room in there and it actually works pretty good and it works on the PlayStation 2 so that's all for this video but uh, stay tuned for more updates and all that other shit.